Hello there, my fellow travelers of the old world, and welcome back to some Warhammer Fantasy lore. In today's addition to our famous cities of Warhammer, we will add a city that even I myself barely knew existed. It turns out there's a lot more lore on it than I thought though, considering it is arguably in the Tier 2, so to speak, of the big cities. Where Tier 1, for a better comparison, means cities like Aldorf, Nuln, or Marienburg. Nevertheless, I know you folks enjoy obscure-ish lore, so I think you're gonna enjoy this one just as much as any of the other cities we covered. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let us learn about the city of Salzenmund. Salzenmund is the capital city of the Imperial Electoral Province of Nordland, and a principality of the Empire in its own right. At the heart of the Silver Hills is a deep lake known as the Orms Deep. The surrounding peaks form a great basin, carved into the hills by rivers and streams flowing from the highlands. On the slopes facing the lake lies Salzenmund, a relatively small city and the capital of Nordland. This is not a grand metropolis like Altdorf, Middenheim or Nuln. This is life on a smaller and more dangerous scale. Salzenmund sits at the periphery of the empire, with the vast expanse of the ocean to the north and the mysterious domain of the Eonir to the west. The Eonir, if it sounds unusual, is in fact a faction of the Wood Elves. The river Salz flows from the lake, winding many miles into the Sea of Claws. Despite its inland location, Salzenmund has always had a rich maritime heritage. In more recent times, the Emperor himself committed the Imperial Second Fleet to Nordland, overseen by the ambitious elector Grand Baron Theoderic Gausser. This ruler displaced his rival Baron Werner Nixey to secure his position. Now Gausser surveys the province from atop Castle Salzenmund, plotting the conquest of lands he claims are his by right. Downhill from the castle, the mighty Nordland Silversmiths Guild counts the wealth it scrapes from the mines of the Silver Hills. Below ground in the old catacombs and abandoned tunnels, smugglers traffic contraband from the coast into the Empire. In the poorest wards, one can encounter unmistakable traces of Norskan influence, from boisterous fighting pits to eccentric religious practices. Salzenmund is a city with ambition. The Salzenmunders are blunt, good-humored, and eager to prove themselves. No longer shackled to Middenheim, they are eager to show the rest of the Empire their worth. They look across the expanse of Nordland, from the Drakval Forest to the Sea of Claws, and take pride in their land. If you would ask a Visalander or an Averlander where Salzenmund is, they will either give you a blank stare or tell you it's somewhere on the coast. After all, all the Nordlanders are either fishermen or Norskan barbarians, or possibly both. Despite Salzenmund's location being miles inland, the city is inextricably linked to the sea, both in imagination and in reality. The setting lends Salzenmund a maritime air. Streets cascade down to the water's edge, just as they do in Hargendorf or Neues Emskrank much closer to the coast. Buildings are constructed with mast-like flagpoles and wooden arches resembling a boat's bow. Every morning the citizens are woken by the sound of gulls crying as they swoop above the city. Even the Orms Deep is reminiscent of the Sea of Claws, rising and falling with the tide, its waters slightly briny. Centuries of Norskan raiding have driven Norden's nobility and merchants inland to seek the relative security of a city more defensible than Dieterschafen, Hargendorf or Norden. While much of Nordland's limited power comes from the sea, those holding the power prefer to shelter where they can hold on to it, rather than seeing it hacked to pieces by the barbarians of the frozen north. The economy relies on trade related to the sea. There are sailmakers, chandlers, naval victuallers and other maritime professions based in the city while timber floats down the salts to the shipwrights on the coast. The inns of Steinhafen are frequented by marines and sailors on leave, while the imperial sea lords visit the city to talk naval business with the elector. Many ocean-going expeditions are financed and conceived right here, 
and plunder is one of the main sources of city wealth. The salt is too shallow for a great ship, but seagoing galleys are a relatively common sight on the Orms Deep, and sometimes it is even possible to see the occasional wolf ship on the lake. Salzermund is a free city, the capital of a feudal province, and the seat of an elector count. When an outsider wants to know who rules Salzermund though, they will get several different answers depending on who they're asking. It is, to put it bluntly, quite complicated. The Principality of Salzenmund is ruled by Theodoric Gausser, who is also the Elector Count of Nordland. The city itself is governed by the Burgomeister and the Council, under the rights of the Charter, which was granted by a former Elector Count in 2190 IC. Property in the city is owned by the Prince, the Elector Count, the Cults of Ulrich, Manan and Sigmar, by the Guilds and by the Nobility. Only the most diligent lawyer can work out exactly who has jurisdiction over which aspects of life in the city, so most people take a pragmatic approach. Do what you've always done, or follow the rules of the person most likely to punish you if you step out of line. This confusion can lead to tensions. The Count doesn't always understand why he can't get his way in his own city, and finds the rule of law a major inconvenience. The Burgomeister and the Guilds frequently have to remind the nobility that they live in a free city, and they are subject to tax on their property. It is never quite clear who can command the citizen soldiery to muster for war, so they tend to go along with an order regardless. One principle cuts through all the confusion, however. Anywhere in the Empire, power carries an implicit threat of violent coercion. In Salzenmund, that violence is much closer to the surface, though. The military, rather than a civilian watch, enforce law and order here. Noble families and guilds pay soldiers to protect their interests. Trial by combat is far more prevalent in Salzenmund than almost anywhere else in the Empire. This is undoubtedly a legacy of Norskan influence, because in Norska, might often makes right. All that said, money and spiritual power is still important. The wealth and heritage of the Silversmiths Guild commands respect throughout the entire province, and even beyond. It has effective dominion over the city's other guilds, and, by extension, the Burgomeister too. Salzenmund also relies on the sea, hence the cult of Manan is very powerful here. The cults of Ulrich and Sigmar have their own sphere of influence, and many Salzenmunders will follow the instruction of either cult when told. Thanks to Gausler and his allies, Salzenmund is enjoying a resurgence of influence. After several centuries, Nordland is finally independent from Middenheim and has regained its electoral vote. Gausler usurped Baron Nixay with support from the Nordland coastal nobility, mercantile interests, the studied neutrality of the cult of Ulrich, and quietly from the shadows, the politicians of Altdorf. Many citizens celebrated these events and took great pride in their newfound independence, rejoicing that the wolf's jaws were no longer around their neck. Money is flowing into the city as the second fleet of the Imperial Navy expands and merchants are presented with lucrative opportunities. The people of Salzenmund are known to be boisterous, tactless and good-humored. They are quick to anger and just as quick to laughter. They value straight dealing and honesty over guile and politicking. They speak literally and don't favor illusion or metaphor, although storytelling is a valuable skill. Salzenmunders tend to explain everything through anecdote or lengthy accounts of personal experience. They accept that physical conflict is often inevitable, and rarely practice restraint where a boot to an ass can solve a problem. Violence is rarely beneath the surface. They also take a pragmatic approach to religion, an approach that is less common elsewhere. Trinkets, amulets, or symbols of multiple gods are popular, as Salzenmunders can be superstitious and like to feel protected by unearthly powers. They usually wear their hair long, typically braided or loose. Men often sport beards and mustaches waxed into points. They keep themselves very clean. The Nordlanders, curiously, like bathing and Salzenmunders are no exception. So-called gold-status citizens are a little too eager to show other Imperials that they can fit into high society elsewhere. They adopt typical Empire fashion. Slashed sleeves and hose are popular, as are fur-trimmed cloaks and feathered hats. 
so-called silver status citizens are a little more distinctly Salzan Mundian. They favor woolen clothing in bold colors and trousers loose above the knee. The poorest of citizens will only wear furs, boots, and animal skin caps to keep out the wind. People dressed in nautical attire are a common sight. Woolen smocks with laced necks, baggy breeches, and round flat caps, often made out of seal skin. Just like any province or city-state of the empire, Nordland has its own army of professional soldiers, paid from taxes and subservient to the elector count. The army of Salzenmund forms the core of the Nordland state army, and at any given time its regiments could be on campaign in the province or fighting alongside other states in alliance against a common foe. In times of war, the Nord Marshal drafts trained citizens and every ward is expected to supply troops for the army. Alongside the state troops and the citizen soldiers, there are also knightly orders, mercenaries, ships companies, and militias raised to defend Salzenmund and sally forth against the enemy. The companies of the city guard serve to protect the city, maintain peace in the walls, and uphold the law. Their yellow, blue, and black uniforms are a common sight on the streets of Salzenmund. Count Gausser's hold on power is recent, and he must be certain the military are still on his side, so he keeps his commanders close. There are two generals often found in Salzenmund. The army of Nordland is commanded by the Nord Marshal, formerly Gausser's own role, with the count recently appointing General Gunther Fredhoff, a bluff campaigner who never likes serving under Middenheim. The commander of the Household Guard oversees Gausser's personal units. This role is currently taken by one Lord Harmon Barthelm, an old friend of the Elector Count. This was a controversial choice since his son Malfey shot the Princess Katarina Todbringer during the turmoil of 2512. Barthelm has disowned his son to keep peace with Middenheim, so it's not clear how sincerely he regrets his offspring's actions. The Salzenbund City Watch are also nicknamed the Bear Baiters. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about the city of Salzenmund, capital of Nordland, for today. Apologize if I actually mispronounced it all this time. I do welcome any corrections if required. Now, as I said in the beginning, this place isn't as lore-rich as the Altdorfs and Middenheims of the world. So when we do return to it, it's only probably gonna be one or two more videos. Nevertheless, a very atmospheric, northerly beacon of civilization in the old world. Have you ever heard of Salzenmund before? Is it among your favorite Warhammer locations? Do share your thoughts on it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like, share, subscribe, and click the bell notification icon for future content. Thanks a lot, and Sigmar's blessings be upon you.